just what I mean. YouTube team keep it clean. We got a lot to talk about in this video, but let's get business out of the way first. Um, yesterday, Luke Jones he reported per the transaction wide that the Ravens placed. Uh, ben Cleveland and tight end Jake Breland on the active non-football injury list. Now, we explained this on Twitter, but I know not everybody's on Twitter, so that's fine. Uh, so I just wanted to explain it really quick now that this is not a big deal. I mean, my opinion, personal opinion, I would be more concerned over this for Jake Breland, but not for Ben Cleveland. Reason being because Jake Breland, he was injured from last year, and we don't know the status of where he is right now, where he is moving forward, but we know that Ben Cleveland is healthy. So all that this means for Ben Cleveland is that he did not and could not pass the uh, conditioning test. And you know the Ravens conditioning test is something serious. That test is just, they, they hate it. A lot of them hate it because it is known to be one of the hardest conditioning tests in the NFL. Uh, so Ben Cleveland will be fine. Once he passes the conditioning test, you're going to see him removed off of this list. Now, again, with Jacob Breeland, we don't know where his health is, so it's kind of hard to say what's going to happen with that. But nothing to worry about. Um, anyway, moving on. Y'all y'all don't miss a thing. Y'all don't miss anything. That's why I love team, team Keep It Clean, and that's why I always say that we're a family, man. Because y'all know if something's up with me, like, y'all could tell that my voice is a little bit off. Because, yes, I do have, like, not even a cold. I don't know what it is. It's just like something. Because Carter, first Carter got sick. Then Carter was like, you know what, Dad? I'm going to be Lamar Jackson. And you be Gus Edwards. I'm going to hand it off to you. And I ended up being Gus Edwards. I wish I would have been Alex Collins and fumbled it. But I didn't. I, I took the hand off. I, I took the little mini coat or whatever it was, and I kept it. And it's just, I'm on the back end of it. And it wasn't even like a full-blown cold. Like, one day my throat was hurting a little bit, uh, and that only lasted for a day. And then for the past, like, two days, i just been, like, sneezing a little bit and uh, having to blow my nose a lot. But that that was it. Um, so I'm, I'm good, though. I appreciate y'all that, that actually noticed that. Like, y'all y'all are good. Something else that y'all noticed I saw a lot of people commenting and making fun in yesterday's video of the way that I was pronouncing Giannis's name. Now, originally, early in the video, I said Giannis, but guess what? I saw a lot, what happened so many times? I should have screenshotted all of them and put them in this video, but I'm not petty like that. Or well, some days I can be though. But early on in the video, throughout the early portion of the video, I was saying Giannis, 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 but then I caught myself, I was like, hold up, it's Giannis. And then I saw some people put comments, oh, hey, <laughs> look at him saying Giannis, oh, Giannis, Giannis. And then when I would go to reply to those comments, a lot of them would be deleted. So I said, oh, okay, well, some of them actually, they kept listening to the video and heard me correct myself. But it's all good. I still love y'all, man. I still love y'all. Now, speaking of that video, um, one of the last things that I wanted to talk about today uh, in the beginning of that video from yesterday about comparing Lamar, J L I was about to say Lamar Giannis, Lamar Jackson to Giannis Antetokounmpo. Oh, I, ooh, I, said, that last, I said that last name right. I said, <laughs> I said that boy's last name right. Okay, well, comparing him to Giannis Antetokounmpo, that feels good to say that last name the right way. Um, but in that video, in that episode of Question from Subscribers, which was a really fun one. We got some more questions from subscribers, too. And it's like, man, I, I, we talk about basketball for a tiny bit. Then y'all start throwing these questions, these basketball questions in there. But anyway, um, in that video, in the beginning of the video, uh, we put up two clips. One of Baker Mayfield playing cornerback with the kid at the camp. Then we put another clip of Saquon Barkley playing cornerback with a kid at the camp. And one and I saw it all over Twitter yesterday. I even chimed in myself a bit, but we haven't heard anything from Shannon Sharp regarding this. Now, Baker Mayfield is in the same position as Lamar Jackson. Saquon Barkley is in the same position as Lamar Jackson to where they have huge contracts coming up. The teams have picked up their fifth-year options, obviously, with those other two players. They're definitely going to pick them up. Um, they picked up their fifth-year options, but we didn't hear any uproar about them playing with the kids. And I know a couple people were like, oh, well, it wasn't on asphalt. That's the reason why. No, that's not the reason why. That's not it. 
because it, this just goes to show you uh because a lot of people say uh, they try to say oh ravens fans you guys cry so much about lamar jackson oh ravens fans are always saying lamar jackson gets overly criticized and overly talked about in a negative light but it's true it's true baker mayfield does he play cornerback no he's a quarterback but he was playing cornerback against those kids at the camp. And whether it was on grass or not, he was still engaging in physical activity that could have resulted in an injury. But did you see any Shannon Sharp outbursts or Mike Florio making articles about? No, no, I didn't see anything. And then even worse was Saquon Barkley. He's coming off a major injury, major injury. Where he got, he got put out for the season. He didn't just miss a couple of weeks. No, he missed the majority of the season. And he's out there. Does he play cornerback? No, he's a running back. But he's out there playing cornerback against these kids. And you didn't see not one article about it. You ain't see, any, uh, you ain't see a segment on uh, whatever Shannon Sharp and Skip Bayless show is called. I always get confused whether it's first take or undisputed. I always forget. But you didn't see a thing. You didn't hear a peep. So this is what we talk about when we talk about Lamar Jackson. It's almost like Lamar Jackson versus the world. This is what we're speaking of. Now, me personally, I didn't have a problem with anything that any of them did. I didn't have a problem with what Baker did. I didn't have a problem with what Saquon did. I didn't have a problem with what any of them did. And of course, I didn't have a problem with what Lamar did. But you see how things with Lamar Jackson get blown out of proportion they get extra emphasized everything that this guy does and somebody else does the exact same thing and you don't hear a peep even the trevor lawrence video that i'm sure many of y'all have seen trevor lawrence he got a kind of important training camp coming up and i think they may have started i'm not sure but trevor lawrence was with dj shark and um with a, two other guys as well and they jumping off of a boat into the water. They could have slipped on that boat. Their feet could have been wet. And, and we've all slipped when our feet have been wet before. He could have slipped, fell on the back of his head, hurt himself. Oh, man, that wouldn't have been good. Not a peep. Not a peep. But, again, with Lamar Jackson, the what ifs. If Lamar Jackson would have gotten hurt, what if Lamar Jackson... Turn the wrong way. What if Lamar Jackson came down the wrong way? Oh, he's got this big, he's about to get the most money he's ever gotten in his life. He's on the brink of a $40 million deal. Lamar Jackson, what are you doing? What's wrong with you? But not for the other guys. And the thing that um, a lot of us Ravens fans talk about when it comes to things like that, all, all we want is consistency. That's it. We just want consistency. But when these analysts and experts and whatnot, when they speak about Lamar, most of them don't bring consistency. That's where a lot of them lack. Uh, because, again, it's, they're in the same situation. Baker's about to get paid a lot of money. A whole lot of money. And I, I know it's been said that they're probably going to take care of Nick Chubb first, and I can understand why. And they might take care of Denzel Ward first, and I can understand why. Um, but Baker's about to make a lot of money, regardless. Uh, Saquon, same with him. He's about to make a lot of money. And again, with him, with, and, and with, with those guys, they're they doing it half speed. They're not going full speed. They wasn't going full go. Neither was Lamar Jackson. You know he wasn't going full go, <laughs> and he and he still looked crazy fast. But these got like I, I just because the I, I just just I just want to express that the point yes in yesterday's video and what I'm talking about today, I'm not trying to turn a positive situation into a negative one. That's not what we're here to do. But we just here to to show that it should be an a, an even playing field. But with Lamar Jackson, it never will be. Ever. Ever. I love what Baker Mayfield did for those kids because those kids are never going to forget that. I saw somebody yesterday say, um, oh, if Lamar Jackson, if he would have just talked to the kids, it would have been the same. 
It would have been the same thing. The kids would have never forgot that. And you're right. It, it, they would have never forgotten it, but it wouldn't have been the same. You could talk to somebody all day. It's great. Hey, a conversation is great, and a conversation can be memorable. But to actually take action and engage in an activity that that person loves or that person knows you for, that can make the world of a difference to them. To make the world of a difference. Having a conversation with Lamar Jackson would be great. It'd be nice. Like even for me, for example, we the conversation we had with Lamar at, at his fun day, there was no long conversation. When he talked to Carter, there was no long conversation. It was quick. But I'll remember that. Well, Carter probably will too, because Carter got a really good memory. But if on the day that I went, if Lamar would have been out there and, and he would have been like, hey, let's line it up. I would have been like, okay, let's line it up. I would have got him a little cornerback stance. I said, okay, let's go. And the results of whatever happened after that, we, we would have seen, but I would have loved that that much more, so much more, because Lamar Jackson is a professional football player. He plays in the NFL. He plays for my favorite team. And whether he plays for your favorite team or not, that's a football player. So for a football player to play football with you as a fan, it's like, whoa. That like, whoa. So it's not the same as just having a conversation. Baker Mayfield, again, same thing. Love what he did for those kids. Love it. Saquon Barkley, love what he did for those kids. Love it. Because he could easily get up there at his football camp, get in front of all the kids. Hey, this is what you guys need to do. You guys need to stay focused. Uh, you guys got a bright future ahead of you. Hey, uh, things are going to be great. Uh, just keep working at your craft. Whatever position you're going to be, whether you're running back, quarterback, offensive lineman, defensive lineman, linebacker, cornerback, what, whatever it might be, keep going at it. Keep going at it. Keep striving. Keep pushing yourself. Don't give up, kids. And that would have been fine. And all the kids could have said, oh, I went to Saquon Barkley's camp. He spoke at his camp. Da, 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 da. But to actually engage with them. For somebody to be able to go home and say, I played football with Saquon Barkley today. I played football with Baker Mayfield today. I played football with Lamar Jackson today. It's not the same, and it hits even more. It hits even deeper, and that sticks with them that much more. And it's just, it makes the experience that much better, and it makes you appreciate them as a person that much better because you feel like they actually can relate to you that much more. Because anybody can get up somewhere and talk, but to actually engage, it's much different. So shout out to Lamar, shout out to Baker, and shout out to Saquon. But the, 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 our thing was nothing against them. It's nothing against them. We were just wondering why Shannon Sharp didn't keep that same energy that he had with Lamar when it came to those two. Wondering why Mike Florio from Pro Football Talk didn't keep that same energy with them, with, with Lamar. I mean, excuse me, with Baker and Saquon when it came to those two. We were just wondering. That was it. So... Anyway, team, keep it clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And, and I hope these football, I can't really say I hope these football players continue having their camps because now they got to go to their training camps. So all these summer camps coming to an end. Uh, but the football season is coming to a beginning. And we're very excited uh, to see how that goes. Uh, one last thing before we get out of here. New episode of the Team Keep It Clean podcast is up. Y'all check that out. Um, I, I, and I just love y'all, man. I, I love y'all. Thank you uh, for always being willing to listen. Thank you for supporting the channel again. Thank you for 43,000 subscribers. And let's keep this thing going. We out.